Jay-Z has been forced to respond to some backlash against Barney's after two alleged racial profiling cases occurred there. The first one uh, included a man by the name of Trayon Christian, who went there to buy a $350 Ferragamo belt. And uh, as soon as he tried to pay with it with his debit card, the cashier called the authorities and they came and investigated him because, of course, a young black man can't afford a $350 belt, right? They felt the need to investigate him for that reason. And then Kayla Phillips was a young black woman who went to Barney's to purchase a $2,500 handbag, and she was similarly ra racially profiled, allegedly, and investigated. So those two cases are now on the national radar, and people are really upset about it, understandably so. And Jay-Z has ties to Barney's New York. Uh, Jay-Z is working with them or collaborating with them to sell merchandise, and 25% of the proceeds are supposed to go to Jay-Z's charity. Now, people tell Jay-Z, you know what? You need to cut all ties with them. You need to make a statement. But Jay-Z actually disagrees, and he's upset about the fact that he's been forced to make a statement. So let me read to you uh, what he has said. He says, I move and speak based on facts and not emotion. I haven't made any comments because I am waiting on facts and the outcome of a meeting between community leaders and Barneys. Why am I being demonized, denounced, and thrown on the cover of a newspaper for not speaking immediately? So, Jenk, respond to the first uh, statement. Oh, just not buying it. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, now, look, it, my position is very nuanced, okay? So, JR can attest to this in the morning production meeting. I said, look, I saw the headline. I don't know which way Jay Z went yet. Let me uh, do a declaration, okay? I say that he's going to say, well, we got to look into this thing. I got to, and he's not going to back out of his sponsorship, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, that's what he did, right? So when he says, as he says later, I'm not in this for the profit. Go, 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 go. A tiny part of me, and I do acknowledge that this is the naive part of me believes him only because he's so wealthy at this point and and keeping his ties with Barney's right now is such a PR nightmare that it would almost be more beneficial for him to just cut ties. Nope. Uh, but here's another thing. Do you think that he should cut ties with Barney's based on That's a different question. That's uh -huh. a different question. But look, so first of all he said I'm not making a dime off this man. So 25% of the proceeds goes to my charity. So where does the other 75% go? <laughs> okay. So, so th my interpretation of that, and I'm making an assumption, and again, I am skeptical that, that he isn't going to get any money off of it, but then I'm like, is it believable? Is it feasible? It's feasible, right? Uh, but I, m my assumption was that the other 75% goes toward Barney's, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Not buying it. <laughs> okay, look, JC didn't get wealthy by doing you know, things for his own health. Now, look, does he really believe in the charity and the charity gets education to kids that really need it? It's a, it sounds like a great charity, I don't know anything about it, but it sounds really good. Does a 25% really go there? Yes, it does. Am I glad he's doing it? Yes, right? Where does the other 75% go? I don't know. Do I believe that he's not making a dime off of it? Absolutely not. I don't believe that for a second, that he's just doing it out of the goodness of his heart. And second of all, Anna, this is what's really important, okay? If he throws Barney's under a bus, it's not just the money he would forego from Barney's. Then other sponsors are going to think, well, Jay Z's not the kind of guy to be working with, right? Mm -hmm. Because when immediate when we got into a little bit of trouble, instead of helping us, he hurt us, right? So don't make deals with Jay Z. Mm -hmm. You think as a businessman, Jay Z doesn't know that? He knows it, okay? But on the other issue of what he should have done, to me that's a so totally separate thing. I'm ready to drop it on that. Are you ready to drop it? Before you drop it, though, I would like to read more of his statement. Go. Please allow me to do so. I allow it. All right. Uh, the negligent, erroneous reports and attacks on my character, intentions, and the spirit of this collaboration have forced me into a statement I didn't want to make without the full facts. So. He makes an interesting point there, okay? Um, now, we're about to drop it, but I just want to say one thing quickly. We don't know whether or not Barney's is going to, you know, get rid of those employees. It's not Barney's as a corporation or as a company that did the racial profiling. It was isolated incidents, hmm. okay? So just know that before you make mm -hmm. a judgment about the entire mm -hmm. company. All right. All right. All right. So let's drop it. Go <laughs> yeah, <ahead>. I, <laughs> God damn it. I'm supposed to drop it. <laughs> Don't be jelly. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, uh, I want to go to the control room first. Uh, Justice Jackson, Justice Godoy, um, should Jay Z back out uh, or are you on his side? Go. Well, I guess this is the question. I, would, I thought it was about the, where the charity money is going, not based on this 
uh, incident with the kid who they arrested for buying, for shopping at their store. Um, I mean, if it's if it's based on the kid shopping at their store, that could be whittled down to that particular Barney's versus even that particular uh, attendant or store employee. So when it's based on that, I don't think you should make a big corporate decision to leave Barney's, uh, uh, Barney's partnership over one store, one person being an ass. But if it's on the level of where uh, certain monies are going, he knows where money is going. So, I mean, he's not going to back out of it. He's part of it. You know, but so, it, and, and when it comes to that, I mean, we talked about it before with the NFL and their pink thing. Very small percentage of that money for the breast cancer research goes to breast cancer research. It goes to the NFL. It goes to the, the companies that make the apparel. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the Gatorade towels. You got the pink socks. Right. The NFL makes all the Reebok, Nike, whoever makes all this stuff. So they're making all this money. But they're, they're, when it, that story came out, no one said anything. No one said anything. So I don't see, I mean, I, I'm not disappointed. Jay-Z is another business guy like the rest of these guys are. I'm disappointed because of what the situation is. Maybe it'll change overall. But I'm not going to say guilty. You should come out and go, fuck parties. I can't believe they did this. Because that's weird. All right. No. All right. I, I, after all that nuance, I'm hearing not guilty. Right. Uh, yes, yes. I, I, you're right. You're right. Uh, yeah. And Jesus. I, I don't know. <laughs> okay. We have a don't know. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take that as an abstention. Yes. Uh, are, are you ready? I'm gonna shock the world. Not guilty. Okay. It's not really that shocking. <laughs> shock the world. I think there should be a caveat though, but continue. Okay, so look, here's the deal. Uh, I'm not buying all this talk about how he's the most charitable man on earth and that's why he's only doing it because he's with the people and all that. But what about the children? Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, and I give it to you, the people of Bonnie's. Okay, so spare me. Uh, but on the other hand, yeah, dude, let's find it. Look, uh, to me, it sounds like a pretty bad case. They did it twice, allegedly, right? And to, I, the story really bothers me because they go after these people after they already paid. Like the guy buys the belt, she buys the bag, they spent a lot of money on this. Yeah. And they're like, oh, how dare you spend money in our store? Go ahead and arrest them. They right? made the assumption, uh, especially with uh, Tavon, that he had stolen that debit card, that it was not his debit card. He had to prove, he had to call Chase and prove that that was his account. Yeah, from time to time they look at my uh, ID. Yeah, okay. Look at his ID, mm, look, and then you move on with your life. That's different. I mean, checking, I know. The, checking the ID. No, that's isn't, what I'm saying. Yeah. Like they should, uh, if oh, they I just see. checked this yeah. ID at the thing, that's fine, right? But to call in the cops and have him detained, that's crazy. But should they have a full investigation? And if I'm Jay Z, I, I would talk to Barney's and be like, "Hey, listen, are you guys regulating on this?" Mm -hmm. And I would look to make sure that they did regulate and to fix it. So then you know, I'm an internal change agent, and that's not just BS. You could actually work towards something that's positive. But give him a little bit of time. I mean, this thing just broke. He doesn't have to immediately be like, "I despise Barney's. I'm burning out everything I have at Barney's." No, just bring it down for a second. Yeah, I'm glad that you mentioned that caveat. It all really depends on how Barney's handles this situation. If they back uh, the attendant up or the cashier up, then in that situation, then I would advise him to cut ties because that means that it is like a, a corporate culture there mm -hmm. that, you know, they're, they're spreading. But um, if they do decide to punish the cashier, any type of punishment, I would say just let them go. Uh, it was the attendant, she or he made a mistake, she or he was racially profiling. You can't make a judgment on an entire company based on that. On the other hand, if uh, JC goes to the meeting and the head of Barney's is like, no, no, JC, this is not about you. You're one of the good ones. Oh. Then I would say, okay, you go, <laughs> go ahead and drop Barney's, right?